Hey there, it's Tom Corsinol's number one best-selling author of the Kindle Publishing Bible series and founder of TCK Publishing. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to build an opt-in form web form uh, with uh, Aweber. Now, if you're not using Aweber, using some other kind of autoresponder service, that's totally fine. This is just kind of a basic brief overview of how to build a, an opt-in form. If you're using a different service, the steps are going to be different, the buttons are going to be in different places, but it's just the basic same simple process, okay? So uh, I'm logged in here at Aweber and there's a tab up top that says sign up form. So you click that sign up forms tab and then you click create a sign up form. Once you've done that, there's this little uh, sign up form design page, okay? So they've got all kinds of different templates here. You can choose different templates. Um, there's all kinds of templates to choose from. Lots of different autoresponders will have different kinds of templates. So, you know, just choose something uh, that you think looks good um, to start with, okay? Then once you have the template, there's all kinds of different options. There's usually a header, which is stuff above the opt-in form. So the form is actually right here where they put their name or email in, or uh, you can also add an address, stuff like that they can put in. Uh, I recommend just, if you're brand new, just start with just getting people's emails because you're gonna get higher conversions the less information you ask for. So if you're starting out brand new, I'd recommend going that route, just start with getting their email. Okay, then there's like the footer, which is stuff at the bottom. There's usually like a privacy statement. Uh, and then this is like email marketing by Aweber, which is like marketing for Aweber. So I wouldn't wanna do marketing for them. I wanna market my business, not someone else's. So I wouldn't bother with that. Uh, then there's like the privacy statement. You can include that or leave it out, it's up to you. And then uh, in the header, you can click there and then type in whatever you want. So like, hey, you know, sign up here to download your free report on 10 ways to grow your business with email marketing. Okay, that's where you're gonna sign up. That's where you're gonna give them the offer. Um, so you're gonna tell them, hey, this is what they're gonna get if they sign up. You can change you know, the font size, the font text, what it's like, if it's bold, like italics, you can change the color, um, you know, all that stuff. So this is just a super simple, super basic form. It doesn't look fancy, uh, you know, and this is just an example right here, but this is basically the process you're gonna go through to design your form to make it look good. If you're not a good designer, um, if you're using an autoresponder program that you just don't understand how to edit the options or whatever, you can find someone to do this for you to make a really cool, really pretty web form for you. Um, if you're using like lead pages, like an advanced program like that, um, they'll actually create the web forms for you. So you don't even know, need to go through this design process. You'll simply need to create the web form and save it, but you don't need to go through this whole design process, okay? So once you've designed it, or if you're decided you don't need to design it because you've got lead pages or some other system to design the form for you, go ahead and click save your form. Then you're gonna go to the settings part and you're gonna name your form. So this is what you're gonna name and keep track of. So let's just say tracking form right here. Um, but generally you're gonna to wanna to name it based on you know the website that it's gonna be posted on and what kind of form it is, right? So that'll just help you uh, keep track of it in the future. So if you see, you know, you got a thousand opt-ins from this particular form, you'll know exactly what page, uh, what website that those opt-ins came from. So you don't get confused because if you have several different blogs or websites or lead pages and you only use the same form for every page, it's gonna be basically impossible to track where your opt-ins are actually coming from. So I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, next you can choose a thank you page. So this is the page they're gonna to go to after they opt in to uh, your web form. So generally you're gonna to wanna to create a, a custom web page with a thank you page um, that's going to tell them where to go. And then there's also an already subscribed page. So if someone is already on your list and uh, you know they, they try to subscribe again, this page will basically say, hey, you're already subscribed. You, know, you can download the stuff again if you want right here. Uh, you know, you can create that custom page as well, or you can use your autoresponder. Uh, we'll generally have like a basic version that they have. So it's better often, you know, it's almost always better if you create your own custom pages, but if you're brand new, you don't know how to, don't worry about it. You can skip that step for right now. Once you're done with all that, your form's been set up, hit save, and then step three is where you're gonna publish it. So um, again, if you're using lead pages or something like that, you don't really need to go through this step because that'll set it all up for you. Um, if you have your own WordPress site or WordPress blog, this is the code right here that you're gonna copy and insert on your blog. Uh, if you're using WordPress, you'd insert it probably in a widget on the sidebar or in some other kind of plugin that would position it for you in the right place. Um, 
that's the basics. That's the gist of how to create a web form uh, with AWeber. But again, if you're using a different service, buttons are going to be in different places. You know, you can figure it out on your own. If you don't know how to, you're kind of feeling lost right now. You're using some totally different kind of service. What I recommend is go to your autoresponders help section. Uh, they'll have a help section where they'll actually have tutorials and stuff like that for you. Uh, some autoresponders that are really good ones, they'll have like 24-7 customer support or maybe just customer support during the week, week, week uh, normal hours during weekdays. Um, go to their support, give them a call, check the help forums, you know, ask someone online in the forums, how do I do this? And they'll, they'll generally, you know, be very, very nice and very helpful and walk you through that little process, okay? So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Wishing you an incredible day. Take care.